Oh, 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 yes, here we go. For the longest time, I've been wanting to make the craziest marble course in all of Roblox. A marble course bigger, crazier, and faster than anything anyone has ever seen before it. So with that, it's about time that we get started working on the build. First things first, we're actually gonna have to make the most complicated part, and that's gonna be the marble itself. It needs to be 100% perfectly smooth, and actually achieving that is gonna be very, very difficult. But hey, I've never turned down a challenge, so nor will I do this one. So let's start off by making a half circle, because honestly, that's where we're gonna have to start. <laughs> All right, there it is. That right there is a perfect half circle. Now, making this a full circle is going to be a challenge, but I'm going to do it and make it the smoothest you've ever seen. <laughs> also, master tip, if you're ever working with glass, just set the transparency to 0%. And it makes it 10 times easier to work with. And a little tip for making it way easier to work with these circles is to add a huge block over it. All right, then. Time to get ready to work. <sighs> All right, there it is. The other half circle has been completed. And if everything went according According to plan, that right there should be a perfect circle. But guys, that is what an idiot would think. If you thought that, you are a fool, guys. Currently, there are way more blocks that are condensed on each side than they are at the top and the bottom. So what we're actually going to do, guys, we're going to select everything. And we're going to make sure that this thing is even in weight. Perfectly balanced. All right, rotate it this way. Bang. And guys, the reason that we're doing this is because, of course, the marble needs to run perfectly smooth. Clone it one more time. And this time, it will re be rotated so that it's standing up right and with that this thing should be perfectly imbalanced all right guys so right here we have our half circle eh, it's all right then over here we have our perfectly smooth full circle which is only visually perfectly smooth because this monstrosity right here is the actual the one and only true perfect circle <laughs> Oh, that is just beautiful. <laughs> Look, guys, when we actually make these transparent again, as you will be able to see... Oh, yeah, man, that is just gorgeous. All right, then, now that we have the perfect circle done, we're actually gonna get rid of these two because we don't need them anymore. <laughs> I feel like a little hamster. All right, then, now that we have the ball built, it's about time that we can start working on the tracks themselves. Now, the material I'm gonna be using for this, and it honestly doesn't really matter, I think is gonna be metal. And honestly, one of the big contenders for this material was actually ice because for the few people that didn't already know this ice is actually smooth and build about like different blocks have different properties and for this honestly ice might be the best but i don't know if i have enough of it so you know what let's do a bit of a test we will send down one marble a metal one marble and ice and just for the fun of it one marble on bouncy block <laughs> all right baby here we go all right then first things first we will send down the metal three two one here we go and as you guys can see it will run down very, very smoothly. Honestly, it looked pretty good. Next up, we have the ice. And will it be fast? Oh, it starts off and actually ends up quite a lot faster. Oh boy, I think we might have to go with the ice. Well, just for the fun of it, let's actually try out the bouncy block. Three, two, one. Here we go. Bouncy block. Woo! <laughs> oh my God, it's actually gonna bounce off. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, guys, uh, it's not gonna be bouncy block. So yeah, guys, currently, it's between ice and metal. And when I think about it, it's ice in the shop. I do have 120,000 gold. It is. Yeah, guys, I think I'm actually gonna build with uh, titanium and then cover the titanium with ice because that way I get the best of both worlds and uh, I don't have to be worried about running out of blocks. <laughs> also, just for the fun of it, let's set them out all at once. There we go. Oh god, yeah, as you guys can see, ice the fastest and bouncy block the bounciest. <laughs> So yeah, guys, of course, I want this whole thing to run as smoothly as possible. And uh, yeah, to do that, even the track itself is going to have to be a perfect half circle. <laughs> Ah, very nice and smooth indeed. And now for the part I was talking about earlier, we're gonna have to do the ice. Now for the ice properties to apply, it actually doesn't matter how thick it is. So we can get away with pretty much having none of it. And there it is. That right there is gonna be our perfectly smooth, pretty much ice skating track. <laughs> now guys, what I will tell you right now is the secret to any roller coaster, marble track, or anything of its kind. And that is to make preset road pieces, guys. This right here is currently very short. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna make it quite a lot longer. Maybe like 30 blocks. Yeah, a little something like so. And this right here is gonna be my straight piece. Next up, I'm gonna make a curve. All right, there it is. The next piece we're gonna work on is, of course, like I said, the curve. So what that means is that we're making a piece that is the same size as the last 
last one, but this one at some point actually has a kink in it to make it go up or even go down. That's the one we're going to work on next. All right, then there we are. But guys, as you can see, this is actually two pieces right here. So right here in the middle, we're going to make a kink so that way we can go back up or even back down. Clone this whole thing two times. Take one, rotate it this way. Take the other, rotate it that way. And then just delete the leftovers. And I got a bit of a gap right here. So I'm actually going to smoothen that out. All right, baby, there it is. Our perfect 15 degree turn block. <laughs> All right, then now we just have to create a piece that goes down. All right, now we just got to make it smooth and it should be after that all done. All right, then and with that, I have finished the final piece and it is time to start assembling the track itself. Let's freaking do this. Now to make sure I have as little work from this as possible, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead, take all of this ice and actually make it transparent because I don't really want it to be in the final product. All right, guys, so I've started working on the actual track itself and holy moly this thing is gonna turn out amazing i can already tell now, the only thing that's actually quite difficult and also extremely important is the fact that all of these pieces line up perfectly and uh yeah that is proving to be quite difficult <laughs> but that is that right there okay oh man i love this <laughs> This is turning out so good. And honestly, that right there is, I think, the perfect incline. This is going to be maximum speed. All right, all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> My God, this thing is going to go fast. All right, then, now to assemble the actual... <laughs> The actual marble track, it's not going to be this small. Uh, this, this right here, this is a little tiny, little tiny baby. We're going to go all out. <laughs> We're going to assemble everything all the way at the end. And what it's going to allow us to do is to make a marble track that is unfathomably big. We're going to make sure it goes as fast as possible. <laughs> So yeah, guys, after this piece right here, we're going to have another one of these very, very fast straight pieces and also yet another one. And only then are we going to go back into the ramp. Yeah, the starting ramp should be closer to that height. Oh boy. And there it is, guys. That right there is the landing strip. <laughs> So now that all of the individual pieces have been put together, it's about time to actually assemble the whole thing. <laughs> Let the assembly begin, baby. Come on. Yes! <laughs> all right, then. And finally, for the final one. <laughs> Here we go, come on! Oh my god, it's perfect. Oh my god, it's actually perfect. All right, then, moment of truth! Final part that has to be moved. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Here we go! Come on, please! Okay, it didn't work. That's fine. That's fine. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Look at how close we managed to get to the water! That is perfectly measured! Oh my god! I can't believe it, man. <laughs> Dude! Alright then, guys, for the moment we have all been waiting for. Let's check this thing out from above. <laughs> Oh my god, this thing from above looks absolutely insane. Oh, I love it! All right, then there's only one thing left to do. And that is to make sure we have a bunch of extra balls. Because yeah, actually, if we wanted to set this thing up again, it would literally be impossible. Well then, guys, with that, I can no longer delay the inevitable. It is time that we go for it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. Oh my God. We are already. Oh my God. We are already going so fast. We are going so fast. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, that was amazing. Oh my God. And we were so well balanced. Usually when I do this, it's like a really bumpy ride. That was so smooth. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, now I'm trapped in this hamster ball. All right, then next up, let's get a dozen people in here. Oh boy, they're on their way. <laughs> Dude, what the heck is this person? They're so big. I will fit. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know if you will. Hop in, gamers. Now, guys, the extra weight from all these people should actually make the entire thing go even faster. <laughs> all right, then. Three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here we go. Dude, we are going so fast. We are going so fast. Oh, my God. Wait, we spun out the side. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, this is all pretty cursed. 